Hey there YouTube, Corncob Piper coming at you. It is Saturday afternoon now. Just got done eating some lunch, made some uh, soup for the kids. Uh, some matzo ball soup. If you guys have never tried matzo ball soup, definitely something you should try to get your hands on and try it. It's, it's just quite delicious. I am smoking my second birthday pipe. This one is from my son. It's got the uh, cool etching on there brass band. Uh, this is a pear wood pipe from the Ukraine and packed inside of here. I have some Boswell's Christmas Spice. So I normally um, smoke all of my arrows from corn cob pipes. I do have one pipe, a Floggle Works uh, Myrtle Wood pipe that I have dedicated to smoking uh, Hobbit Sweet out of. But mainly I smoke the aromatics from, uh, you know, my cob pipes. And I got these two new pipes from my kids for my birthday. My birthday was a couple weeks ago, but they ordered these from overseas. So they just came in on like Thursday. Smoking them both for the first time today. And I figured, you know, why not dedicate these two pipes, uh, wood pipes, to... Uh, aromatics, uh, just uh, something different to smoke an aromatic from. So uh, I'm digging them both. Both very good uh, smokes, and uh, you know, since since they're gifts from my kids, these two pipes are, I have to say, uh, some of some of my favorites I have now. I wanted to do today a VR to Adam the Piper. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out his channel, make sure to do so. As always, I'll put the link down below. He's got some great videos. Uh, Adam, congrats on the subs, brother. Love the channel. Uh, Adam is not new to pipe smoking, but he is new to the YTPC. So like I said, check him out. Make sure to at least go over there and congratulate him on the subs. Uh, you know, sub to his channel, give us some of his videos some likes. So Adam's giving away some tobaccos and uh, corn cob pipe and then a pretty cool Savin Alley pipe. Uh, if you haven't checked that video out, definitely go ahead and do so. The pipe that he's giving away is awesome. Uh, it's a very, very cool looking pipe. So Adam had uh, several questions that he would like answered in the form of a VR for his giveaway. I'll go ahead and run through mine here quickly and uh, just give you my answer. So his first question is, what got you into pipe smoking? So uh, for me, it was pretty much a, a long journey. Uh, I've touched on this in several of my other videos. Old man that lived across the street from me when I was a kid. His grandson used to come over from time to time when I would go over there and play. Well, the old man, Mr. McCoy, he smoked the pipe. I always remembered when I was a kid really enjoying the smell of it. And I said from that time, you know, when I grow up, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to smoke a pipe. Well, it didn't really come to fruition that, you know, right away for me, I, uh, in high school, started uh, dipping uh, Skull in, in Kodiak and then... From there, I started dating a girl who did not like uh, chew, so I started smoking cigarettes, and I was a cigarette smoker for a long time, long, long number of years. I did have some stints in between my smoking from time to time where I did start chewing again, but basically I was a cigarette smoker. A couple of years ago, for health reasons, I decided I was going get, to get off the cigarettes. I switched to vaping, uh, slowly lowered my nicotine levels down. And then when it kind of came time to be done vaping, um, you know, I pretty much stopped and I was, I was uh, basically nicotine tobacco free for a little while. And, uh, but I missed, I guess I missed the nicotine or the smoking, the, the, you know, oral part of it, I guess. So I just got it in my head that I was going to try my hand at pipe smoking and uh, I've been off and running ever since so that, that's really my reason for pipe smoking something I've always wanted to do and finally got around to, to start doing it 
His question number two is, what is your favorite place, where is your favorite place to smoke? So my favorite place to smoke is on my, my uh, couch. We have a nice leather couch. It's uh, electric. Push the button, it reclines, so it's got easy chairs built into either end. And I enjoy just sitting there, uh, you know, smoking a pipe in my in my easy chair, just just relaxing. That that's my favorite spot. I have a few others here at the dining room table, out in the garage, and then uh, when it's cool enough. And I do live in South Florida, so it's usually always hot. I will go out on the uh, back porch as well and smoke. Uh, question three, what do you think about while you're smoking? So, 90% of the time when I smoke, I'm sitting in my easy chair, and I'm not really thinking about anything. I think that's the point for me for pipe smoking. I, I'm not a heavy pipe smoker. Uh, usually just uh, either one or two bowls a day. I like to just sit there in my chair either watch a little bit of TV or catch up on some YouTube videos and you know really just focus on that and relax so uh, I don't really think about a lot when I uh, when I smoke um, I do read occasionally too uh, when I smoke with this another um, just I use pipe smoking I guess as a as a way to escape and just just let my mind go and wander either watching your guys' great videos or you know just watching a little bit of little bit of TV. Uh, question four, what kind of tobaccos do you like? So, um, I would put myself in like the all around category. So, I like uh, Balkans, I like Englishes, I like aromatics, I like Orientals, uh, you know, I like a lot of Virginia based uh, stuff, straight Virginia. So, I really, it's hard for me to say what kind of tobaccos I like because uh, I pretty much like them all. Now the one, I'm not huge into Latakia bombs, but I do like uh, Englishes. And uh, I, I'm, I have a hard time getting into Burley tobaccos. And it's been, it's been quite a while since I've actually tried a Burley based uh, blend other than aromatics. Most aromatics are Burley based blends. because it allows the aromatics obviously to burn cooler. Um, but I'm going to try my hand at it again. I recently just placed an order with smoking pipes for all quantities. I think a, a ounce of uh, Haunted Bookshop, which comes highly recommended for matches. And then I guess some old dark uh, fire ready rub too. I think an ounce of that. So I'm going to go Please excuse the dog there. Hold on, I'm going to pause the video. Okay, sorry about that, YouTube. I'm back. Uh, dog was barking there. The, uh, the mailman dropping off a package. Um, so, um, once again, back to, uh, you know, what, what kinds of tobaccos do you like? I was mentioning the Burley blends. I'm going to give those another go. Uh, you know, if I don't like it, I guess uh, Burleys just weren't meant for me. But I, I'm expecting the package to come. I think uh, it actually might be one of the packages that just got dropped off. Uh, so maybe I'll try a Burley blend later later on today. Uh, next question: um, What's your favorite tobacco? Uh, I would have to say at the at the current moment, uh, my favorite tobacco is Dunhill My Mixture 965. Within the last two to three weeks, probably, it seems to be the tobacco that I am reaching for more. Uh, but my favorite tobaccos are constantly changing. A month ago, I would have told you it was GL Peace's Quiet Nights. Uh, maybe the month before that, I would have told you it's um, Sam Gwis, uh Full Virginia Flake. So at the time of shooting this video, I would say if you ask me what my favorite tobacco was, I would tell you My Mixture 965. Ask me again in a month from now, there's probably going to be something different. So I just really go ahead right now and give you the categories. What are my favorite from each category? So for uh, Balkan, I would go Plum Pudding, uh, Virginia Based, uh, Mississippi River. Let's see, Straight Virginia would be Sam Guis, Full Virginia Flake. Aromatic, uh, pretty much a tie between Strauss's Sleepy Hollow and Tewksbury's, well not Tewksbury because I'm smoking the Four Noggins match now, so Four Noggins match uh, for Hobbit's Weed 
and um, what am I leaving out there? And in the English, uh, I would go for um, Dunhill My Mixture 965. So those those right now are my current favorite tobaccos in each of the main categories. Uh, for Orientals, I haven't really smoked enough Orientals to really pick a favorite. And uh, like I said, it's been a long time since I smoked a Burley. Uh, so I can't really give you a favorite favorite Burley tobacco right now. Uh, and then the last question, which for me is the most difficult question that he's asking, is name your two favorite YouTube presenters. So, I mean, it's really, really hard to narrow it down to just two. There's so many great presenters out there on YouTube. Uh, you know, and I, I, I love watching everybody's videos. Um, so I had to sit there and think a while, you know, who my, who my favorite presenters are. And I would say for knowledge of reviews and tobacco blends, uh, on tobacco blends and stuff like that, I'm going to have to go with Stuff and Things, Bradley from Stuff and Things. Uh, he just does really great reviews. His format's really good. He really breaks down the tobaccos from beginning to end. And, uh, you know, really, really just explains and reviews them very well. I just like the format that he uses to do so. Uh, but his channel is not exclusively for, you know, pipe smoking. He reviews like fountain pens and guns and stuff like that. So, I do find myself when he posts a tobacco review, however, you know, watching them right away. So uh, he would be one of them. And then the second one, I'm going to have to go with the mayor, uh, Derek Tant. Uh, he makes some great pipe smoking videos. Uh, you know, funny guy, always usually makes me laugh at some point during his videos. Um, but there's so many more people, you know, that I, that I want to include in this, get, this, this uh, list other than just those two. Uh, but since you, you know, you're, for, you're forcing us to, to pick the two, those I guess are my two. Uh, but, you know, I mean, there's so many more from, you know, Briar Hokey, Nam the Tube, Hoosier Piper, Bryce Parker, uh, um, the Bean Piper, the Unicorn Piper. I mean, I could keep, uh, you know, Mutton Chop Piper. I, I could keep going on and on and on. There's so many presenters on YouTube that I really, really enjoy the content of the channel. Um, but those are the two that I'm going to go with just for the, the purpose of the list. So... Once again, guys, link below to Adam the Piper's uh, channel. Make sure to head on over there. Uh, you know, hit that like button, subscribe to his channel, show, show him some love. Keep the great videos coming, Adam. I really enjoy watching them. And as always, YouTube, keep on piping.